alongside me, an unbelievable striker, one of the best we've ever seen in the Premier League. And Darren Bent's here as well. <laughs> and Motorpoint, check out hundreds of nearly new Audis, BMWs and Kias online and in-store. Uh, that great striker is a great striker. Jermaine Defoe has joined us. Hello, Jermaine Defoe. How are you doing, guys? I'm good. I'm very well. How are you? Not too bad, not too bad. Firstly, thank you for coming over and having a chat with us. Very kind of you. No problem. Are you enjoying, before we talk football, are you enjoying your time? It's day two, the end of day two. We've had training both days. Are you enjoying yeah, it? Yeah, it's good. You know what? It's, it's nice to obviously come and, and see some familiar faces, obviously some new faces. But I think just to be a part of it for me is really special because obviously UNICEF and Soccer Aid, what they've done over the years have been fantastic. I remember when I was playing, I always watched it. You know, I would always, always show an interest and watch. So now to be a part of it and, you know, come, come away and have a laugh and, and at the same time, obviously, we try and win because it's been, what, six years now? Mm. Do you know what I mean? So the pressure's on. But to be a part of it again is really, really nice, yeah. Who's impressed you in training? You know, Eddie makes someone the other day, yeah? But Eddie? Eddie? Eddie Hearn. Did he? But, but it, he weren't, it weren't like a lucky one. It was like a roll and I thought, hold on a minute. Do you mean, <laughs> he, he paid him off. Do you uh, yeah, I know, so I heard the conversation. Yeah, so I thought it was a little bit like, <laughs> yeah, man, that, that, that Saudi cash, I thought, nah. But um, nah, everyone, everyone looks all right. Everyone looks sharp. I think they know now that we have to win. Yeah, there's a lot of pressure on uh, on Team England mm. to win, right? Because, uh, as you said, the last time England won, Bentley was playing. Bentley scored a goal in that game. I, mean, when the, I, I think I played, I played in one when Big Sam was the manager. You played in one. I remember you coming on, scoring two goals, bang, bang, quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we won. You won, yeah. That was, that, that was years ago. I think you played the year before me. I, I think, think so, I played yeah. 18, you played 17, I think. You scored a header? No, uh, went round Kevin Peterson and then I think it was Van der Sar. Went round Kevin Peterson. Just rolled it in the corner. How's that? Is it? <laughs> <laughs> let, me, Jay, let me ask you, because listen, you are someone who I know loves scoring goals. You always have done from a, a young kid to now. You know when you got out there for, and it's, it is for charity and that is the most important thing, UNICEF, that hunger for scoring goals don't leave you, does it? So if there's a match. chance. Yeah, and if I don't score, I'm, I'm, I'm actually, you know, <laughs> you know last year, right? Honestly, I remember, I remember coming off the pitch and obviously we all know why we're here. Do you know what I mean? Most importantly, I remember coming up thinking, I was actually upset. <laughs> and I had to snap out of it quick. I had to actually look myself in the mirror and say, listen, it's not about you. It's not about just, do you know what I mean? But we never lose that, Bentley. No. It's a football match. Even in training, you want to score. Do you know what I mean? Even in the, like, in the little five-a-side there, you think, well, I just need to score. I just want to hit, hit the net. But I don't think you'd ever lose that. No, but that's why you guys are in the top 0.1%, right, of sports people, because you need that little bit of something extra that not a lot of people have. Yeah, it's that sort of, like, elite mindset, isn't it, where, like... Even in training, it's, you, you want to win. You want to yeah. score in every game you play. Um, and I think if you speak to any centre forward, you know, just that selfish nature. Mm. What's, just, what's the first thing that goes as a striker when you get older? The first thing that goes? Yeah. Your hamstrings. <laughs> 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 your hamstrings, your Achilles. Is it, do you wake, is it a struggle to roll out of bed in the morning? He's no? not. Have you seen the shape of him? Nah, do you know what? Look, when... when, when uh, I think with me, I was lucky, to be fair, in terms of injuries and that. I had a couple ankles and stuff like that, but it was my, like, Achilles towards the end. But Achilles, they, it comes and goes. Mm. Um, I remember to, like, the back end of my career, I remember getting out of bed sometimes, some mornings, and your Achilles is just like... But as you get warmed up, it's, it's fine and that, yeah. But obviously, I know that a lot of the boys have really struggled with injuries and that, but I was quite, I was quite lucky, really. Yeah. Uh, should we talk England, Euros? Yeah. What did you make of the, the squad that was announced yesterday, the seven players that were dropped? We were, we were yeah. chatting earlier on, so we were on air when the seven came out. It's quite difficult to take it in and talk about it. You need time to react to it. I was driving yeah. home last night. I was listening to TalkSport. I was driving in this morning, and I was like, oh, my, I can't believe Jack Grealish is not going. I'm absolutely stunned about that. But Because but, he come on the other day, right? Because I was thinking, think, do you know what? Maybe he'll, he'll miss out. And then he come on the other day, and then you can just... And I thought, do you know what? I think he's got to take him now. Because he can just do something. I know he didn't play a lot of games last season. We said, well, did he start 10 games or whatever yeah, it was? Yeah. <clears throat> in and out. But when I saw him come on the other day, listen, I love it. When I saw him come out, I thought, I don't know. The guy was, he's got a decision to make. But then, you know, when you look at those forward areas, when was the last time that a manager in England, when was the last time we've had those sort of options? It's unbelievable. In the forward areas. The but but if, you're, if you, you are going to take Jack Grealish, but you're going to play him on the left, right? And yeah. so at, on the moment at the left, we've got Anthony Gordon. Anthony Gordon. Right? Yeah, Rashford isn't, isn't there. And then right. you've got Foden. I'm Eze can play there, Eze. Eze, yeah. Eze, yeah. I think he's, he's 1v1 special. You see him the other day in the game. Like, where he, can, he stands people up and he's, he's got that change of, change of speed where he can just slow people down and bang, he's gone. He's got that sharpness. And, and by the way, I have to say, you know, it's... What a day yesterday it was for, for Crystal Palace Football Club. Um, I still speak to Mark Bright. Um, he, lo he loves the social media, he? Bright. Yeah. Yeah. But it's, yeah, but it's, it's, it's amazing to see it. You know, these young players coming through. Um, but yeah, like I said, Eze, like, he's, he's, for me, he's, he's top player. He had a fantastic season. Give me your front six. Everyone's fit. <sighs> I, I, I'd play Harry. Um, that was the easy bit. Of course. 
I play Harry, and I love Ollie Watkins, by the way. Yeah. I play Harry. I play Saka. I play Foden as a 10. Ooh, what so got, hold on, hold on. He's going so, on the left. So, I've... I think Gordon, yeah? Okay. I By the way, there's just, no right or wrong answer. Just, here. just I'm thinking, I'm, I'm thinking pace. I wrote down the other day at home. I thought, well, how's he, how's he gonna think for pace? And I play, uh, and I play um, Foden, Bellingham. Foden is a ten, and Rice behind them. Rice is a six, single pivot. So what are you doing with Bellingham? I play him as an eight. Okay. I play him as an eight. He'll get into the box anyway. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Do you? Do but, you I think, but I think, but what I, what I do for you, I'm not overcomplicating it. But I think with the ball in possession, I think John Stones should step into midfield. So you've got four. Yeah, I mean, in an ideal world, if he can play that role like he's played it for City, but City's a different kettle of fish, right? We've got problems at the back. Yeah. Were you surprised with the Harry Maguire one? Yeah. The reason why I was surprised is because I think if you look at the last few tournaments, I think he, he was one of our better better players, to be honest. And I think he's, I think in, a, in an England shirt, maybe it's, I don't know, a psychological thing, but I think he's, it's almost like, <sighs> I can just, because I know I've done well for England, I can just. Do you think play. football is slow at international level? I think international level, I think it's speed in a final third. I think you have to make quick decisions. Okay. I remember Capello saying it before, where like a, a lot of the build-ups probably slower than the Premier League, but then in the final third, it's quick, so quick. Mm. But um, I was surprised with Harry Maguire one, I have to say. You know, when you look, you think about uh, Gareth Southgate. He's always had his, he's almost stalwarts like Harry Maguire. He's not there. He left Henderson. Jordan Henderson mm. behind. He left Raheem Sterling behind. Stay. Phillips. Calvin Phillips is left behind. Do you think this is Gareth thinking to himself, I've got to try something new, or do you think it's just now England moving forward? We're now into a new phase of now young English players. I think so, and I think it's one of those ones where he's probably thinking, listen, now it's, it's, it's not a case of, okay, I like you and I like, nah, I'm, I, we've got to win. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And I think now, for how long he's been in the job and for how close we've come previously, I think now he's probably looking at it thinking, do you know what? Nah, I'm just going for it. These, these are the players that I believe that can, this is the squad that I believe that can go to the tournament and win it, but we, we, we have to win. Let me ask you, Harry Redknapp was interviewed today by, wasn't me and Bent, it was someone, it might have been Oli, and was talking about um, where Southgate goes after this tournament. And, and yeah. Harry Redknapp said that he thinks he should be the next Man United manager. There's been, a, I mean, there's been, I've, I've seen a lot of stuff around that, to be fair. Um, what do you make of it? It sort of makes sense. It sort of makes sense. Um, and what would he, would, if, that is, if that happens or... You know, would he take obviously Steve Holland, who, who who does all the coaching, and Gary sort of like manages. Um, but when I did, when I, f I remember the first time seeing it, I thought I can see that happening. To be fair, can you? I can see that happening. Do you think if they win the Euro, do you think he's? I mean, his stock will be so high, Gareth. But that's what I'm saying. That then, if they win the Euros, what's he, what do you think? Do you know what I'm going to stay on, or sort of like that's me done now? Go out and I hide. I think I'd leave. I think I, I, for I me, Gareth. Now, if I win the Euros. Like, it's very rare you get a team winning back-to-back -back major tournaments, I'll right? leave, me. I, I'm, me too. Your yeah, stock is as high as it's, it's probably ever going to yeah, be. But if, you, if you win the Euros, you can leave whenever you want. Your stock's always going to be high, right? No. No, no, no. no. We no. Spoke to, sorry, we spoke to Del Piero earlier. Mancini won the Euros of Italy. Sacked. Yep. Sacked. Did qualify yeah. for the World Cup. Then everyone expects so much. I think, I think if you leave, I think if you look at it and think, OK, when was the last time we won a major tournament? Win this one, that's me done. Okay. It's so hard to do it. Yeah, no, of course it is. And there's always been a lot of noise. Like we've been involved in, in, in squads where you go to a tournament and say, ah, oh, we've got a chance and that. People are like, it's so hard to win a major tournament. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are we going to win it? You fancy it? I fancy us. I'll, I'll do it. I think we have to because obviously, not only that as well, I think this, these group of players now have had the experience of playing in big games at that level. You've got players that at, the, at club level, you know, winning trophies consistently. So I think we have to be confident. OK, all right. Well, listen, thank you for coming on. What are you doing now? Everyone's sort of walking about. They're having I a think there's a live there, show. I think there's a penny shootout. Yeah. The celebs and... Yeah, looking forward to it, see what happens. It's kind of cold, though, isn't it? It's chilly now. <laughs> the weather's been nice, though. It has been nice. The weather's been really well, nice. Well, in half an hour, I'll be in my nice warm car. Love uh, it. Jermaine, listen, uh, genuinely, thank you so much for coming no on. It's very kind of you. You don't have to, but we really appreciate legend. it. Legend. No problem. He's a legend, yeah. Talk Sport Drive with Andy Goldstein. Monday to Friday afternoon from 4 on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.